All right. <clears throat> Whenever you get a survey in, and, and the question, if you, you know, see the chat, once a survey is received, you as a, an administrator or a coordinator or whatever, can you actually change the answers on the survey? So it used to be the answer was no. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could not change the answers, but about a year and a half or so ago, that changed. So if we look at the email, you can see that, <clears throat> excuse me, I have an option to edit the response. There's a button here that I can click <clears throat> and I can make changes and then save it. So that is an option for me. However, <clears throat> That is a permission. So let's go to the user rights for a second and just look and see if you go into a user. Notice that once you create a survey, <clears throat> there is a new checkbox over here that says edit survey responses, which is a permission to allow somebody to edit a survey response. I can edit the survey response because I am a you know, I'm a administrator. But when you add new users, if you don't give that, by default, if I were to associate somebody to this, the edit survey response is checked by default. So if you do not want somebody to be able to edit a survey, you need to uncheck that box when you add them. Otherwise, um, when you go in here, if, if you see the edit response, then you do have the permission to make changes uh, in case somebody, you know, did enter, enter something in error. The original theory was if somebody enters a survey and sends it in, you should not have the ability to make a change to it. You're affecting the data from a, an outside source that it entered it. I mean, if you were doing a uh, survey to establish, you know, like we do when we send out, you know, do you like the class or not, um, with edit response, theoretically I could go in and, um, change everybody's response to say, you know, I'm awesome. Uh, but, you know, in the past, you couldn't do that, but now you can if you have that permission. Um, any changes will be recorded as a change in history of survey. Awesome point. Yes, so um, since I'm in here and I see that this is a problem with this email address, I'm going to go ahead and change it to something else because I think I know what I'm doing. And I'll save it. And yes, I'm going to do that, blah, blah, blah. So I've done this. But now, if I look at my history, uh, I don't, yeah, no, it should. It should show that it was changed. Let's look at the log real quick. Oh. There we are. Uh, I'm sorry, I just had not saved the, my work. So, yes, once the change is made, it will record that somebody did make that change. I was going to say that that should be a given, that the history will record every single change that happens on a field. So. Good question, Scott. Any other questions? <clears throat>